Hello, this is Kate. I'm Molly Faye. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you what to do if you miss a dip down. Now, important thing to note here before we get started, it needs to be clean. And by that, if you can see here, these are continuous. They go all the way down on, on each one of the squares. Okay, these just go all the way down until we get to this point. They're continuously dipped down every time you put in color A. But on this one, as you can see, I just did a single crochet, didn't do my dip down. So here I am now, I come to this point and I can see that the line that I'm creating on these has been interrupted by an error. Now I tell people all the time that what they need to do is to check their work before they fasten off because once you fasten off these knots, as you can see, are quite tight and there's just no way to get them out if you do it properly um, without clipping them and that can be problematic in itself. So you need to always check your work, but this is a case of do as I say, not as I do, um, because even though I do check my work every time, obviously I missed one. So I thought it was a good opportunity to show you how that could be corrected as long as you're not interfering with the other colorways, okay? So what you can do on this is you're gonna have to fill this gap in here or I'm going to have to, where I have failed to do my dip down. So this yellow needs to be covered. Obviously, I would normally be working two rows down into this one, one, two. So I should have, on this row, come down to this one and done the overlay with the dip down double crochet. So what I have to do now is I have to wrap it like I'm going to do a double crochet, but I have to go down four lines. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put my hook up under that loop. I'm going to pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops, and now I have two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to pull this yarn forward. I am now going to go in behind this dip down I've already made and up under the loop that I should have been working on this row. So normally I would have dipped down to this one on this row, but I had to go correct that error. Now I pull the loop, the yarn back behind the hook again. I pull it through two loops and I pull it through two more loops to finish it. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue my single crochet then I'll show you what that looks like and the reason I'm going ahead and doing these is because once you move down a bit those always relax a bit so I want you to see it after it's relaxed so as you can see it doesn't look like these okay it is elongated but it does work and it's tidy so it's just a little trick you can do as long as you are not interfering with other colorways in the pattern. I'm sorry that I have not posted more this summer. It's been a busy summer. So I will get back to that as soon as things slow down. And in the meantime, give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you the next time.